Jesus. Hey, Sammy fam. Today we are having delicious clean out my kitchen noodles because I'm moving in a few days probably. These are sliced noodles. They're kind of like fettuccine, but bought in a giant bag at an Asian grocery store. I used a pound of shrimp that was sitting in my freezer left over from making dumplings a few weeks ago. I used a chili crunch and chili oil that was in my fridge that would be hard to transport on my like 200 mile move to our new house. I used a box. What did I use? I used a whole bunch of garlic, crushed garlic, chopped green onions. Mm. I used a lobster, um, condensed lobster bouillon uh, from Better Than Bouillon to give it a real seafood flavor. So good. Cooking wine, Chinese cooking wine. Um, I just grabbed everything and put it in this, didn't I? Some Chinese black vinegar, some rice vinegar. Mm. Wow, it's so creamy. Toasted sesame oil, ginger powder. I think that's about it. Did not have to add any salt or any soy sauce to this dish because the um, the sodium in the in the fishy lobster base bouillon is all you need for the whole dish. Mm. And I used a kind of unique, lazy but delicious method I like to use when I make noodles like this. I start building the sauce in the pot. Chili oil, garlic, onions, get them to be fragrant and the garlic to start kind of turning a little bit brown. And then I add <clears throat> the spice that builds on you. And then I start adding the other ingredients, the wetter things, and just put in the noodles as we cook the sauce. So as the noodle releases starch, it thickens the sauce naturally and I can add a little bit of water as I go. You can see if it needs a little bit more, if it needs to get that glossy look to it. And then near the end, I added in a big hunk of unsalted butter because it already had enough salt and then added in the shrimp right as I took it off the heat because the heat of all this pasta cooks the shrimp. And man, that worked out. I was nervous about just making something kind of by the seat of my pants today. I usually reserve that type of cooking for when I'm trying to use up old ingredients when my wife is either like away visiting family or out on a girl's night or something, you know, because I see it as like, I'm not making something special enough for her and I'm not making something special enough for a video. But this tastes so freaking good. And it's super comforting and warm on a fall day. Wow. I do need some water though. I love cold water. That's my favorite beverage. Well, if you guys haven't been staying tuned, and I understand we're all busy, um, but I am moving out of this place, this apartment that I've lived in for like eight or nine years or something. Since before the start of Nam Nam Sammy Boy, all the videos have been filmed here, except for the few on location ones. 
but we're getting the house, which is amazing. We're moving all the way up to Albany from New York City. And so the biggest change is not really apartment to house, it's apartment to, it's in New York City to Albany, which is going to be a huge difference, but it'll be a fun adventure. I was really anxious about it, but I think it'll, it'll all come through and be okay. I'm excited now about, you know, I've picked out all the appliances I want. I have a cart full of them on samsung.com. I'm ready to hit order, get myself my new induction oven and stove top, um, new dishwasher just to have a new one because the one that's in the house is kind of old and nasty looking, um, and a new refrigerator just to match. It actually had a really nice refrigerator came with the house, I think, but well, nice in like an early 2000 teens way, but we want to get it all matchy matchy and then redo the countertops and the floors and the cabinets. It'll be a lot. And I am nervous about like home ownership and responsibility, but We're in a good place monetarily. Like this house is actually gonna save us so much money. Rent in New York City just keeps going up and up and up. Um, like my rent, if I renewed right now, it would be $2,000 and like $2,057, I think for next year per month for this little one bedroom apartment in a not really nice building. But moving up there, like our mortgage is only going to be $1,100 a month um, with, you know, insurance and taxes tacked onto that. It comes up closer to like seventeen, eighteen hundred. So even all that in, it's cheaper than what we're paying right now. Amazing. And I'm very spoiled and very lucky that 20% down payment and the closing costs are all a gift to me from a family trust. They do that for everybody in the family. So essentially it's a free house. I you know I have to pay the mortgage, but it's less than what I pay in rent. So like it doesn't really count in my mind. So we can make it what we want. It's a little bit of a fixer upper, but that's fun in that like my wife now gets to have the license to do whatever she wants to it and we'll really make it our own. So I'm excited about that. We won't live above a grocery store anymore. So there might be some automatic weight loss there. You're gonna have to learn how to plan to go to the grocery store. And the wait list for cars are like six months long for what we want. Um, so we're gonna be relying on, you know, walking which I'm good at, so I can walk and get groceries. And luckily there are a few grocery stores within a few miles of our new house um, and the bus system. But the bus system up there actually seems to be pretty good. It's only $1.50, which is like half the cost of riding the subway here. And they run semi-frequently, but you can just use like your Google Maps to tell when the next bus is coming. So, you know, you can plan it out a little bit. But so I've been kind of on edge about the whole thing, but I think it'll go well. That's what I keep telling myself. But I need to try to eat as much as I can in this kitchen so I don't have to take too much with us, especially from the refrigerator. As I don't think it would survive the journey. And that's why I'm eating these shrimps. That's why tomorrow I have some falafel that I made. God, when did I make that falafel? I made it I think before I got hurt and my arm, you know, fell down the stairs, had surgery and everything. And I just froze it and forgot about it. So now I have this frozen falafel dough in the freezer and I'm thinking, can I maybe put that in the waffle iron if I thought? And then like make a lamb burger on it with a tzatziki sauce or something. Waffle, falafel, lamb, burger, tzatziki. 
I don't know. I'll try it. These shrimp are really good. I don't know if you guys can hear. The woman hollering in the background. Um, it's a lady who's lived below me for about a year. It'll be nice to get away from her. It'll be nice if you notice the planes flying over me in videos. It'll be nice to get away from that because sometimes they come like every 30 seconds because I'm on the uh, landing path for LaGuardia Airport, one of you know, the busiest airports in the United States, if not the world. So there'll be a lot of side benefits for production of videos and just peace of mind. And one thing I'm really excited about and one thing I need to order like right away when we close is I'm gonna have a yard, like I'm in a pretty big yard um, so I can grill. I've been watching grilling videos, I've been researching. Oh, I'm so ready, I'm so ready to be like grilling steaks and making chimichurri sauce and making tacos and doing shrimp skewers and veggie skewers and grilled pizza. I was looking at grills and I decided, you know, you could go all out right at, at first and buy like, you know, the $3,000 big green egg. But I figured I have not grilled since I was a wee young lad. I don't want to spend $3,000 on a grill right off the gate when I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to take a low end, but not all the way low end route. I'm going to get a Weber kettle, but the like the top of the line Weber kettle, which is still only like 300 bucks, but it comes with a lot of nice little features that make it easier to use. I'm gonna like hang the the top of the lid of the grill off the side. It has some like dividers and racks so you can arrange the coals in different ways so you can get direct and indirect heat for different kinds of cooking and built-in thermometer. I'm really looking forward to exploring that and using it as a tool in all my recipes. And I know my wife is looking forward to me grilling her some things. Because it's just hard, like, living in an apartment. You want to have steak. If you wanted to do steak the right way in an apartment, in an apartment, it involves heating up a cast iron or a sheet of seal until it's smoking. And then throwing the steak down on top of it to sear it. And you just... You fill your whole apartment with smoke. It's unpleasant in a small apartment. My wife has kind of sensitive, like, tear ducts for that kind of thing. Um, and her nose is just way stronger than mine. So things like garlic and onions and searing meats bother her more than they bother me. So I feel guilty doing it. But I mean, in a big house... The kitchen is on the same floor as the master bedroom, which the master bedroom is actually two bedrooms put together. They took out a wall in between. Um, so we're planning on making it like she works from home. It'll be her home office space. We'll make it really cute and cool. And we might put in like uh, some seating for me in there as well. But we also have a couple other bedrooms in the living room and a formal dining room and an attic we want to finish and a basement we want to finish. So like, Really, I'm, I feel like I'm never going to see her. I'm going to miss her so much. We're always going to be so far apart. But the smells of the kitchen won't bother her, so that's going to be great. Hmm. I promised her I would save a bowl full. She said a small bowl, but I'm going to give her probably more like a large. Because I don't want her to not have enough. Mm. Ooh, yeah, there's a lot of noodles. I think I'm gonna put this in a bowl and present it to her. I'll pull these shrimpies off to the side so I can put them on top so it'll look fancier rather than like the mess that I've been eating. Da, da, da. 
over here, guys. That's that's probably enough shrimp to put on top. Well, thank you all for watching. If you're watching this on the main Nom Nom Sammy Boy YouTube channel, please go check out Nom Nom Sammy Boy too. There will be many more new adventures up in the Northeast and in New England and upstate New York coming. I might even mount a camera in my car and do food reviews that way too. That would be fun. Once I get a car. Wow. Life does nothing but change. See you guys.